Hi class, let's talk about polynomial generation for recurrence relations. In your mathematical explorations, you may have seen, in fact, you may have proved that the sum of the first n integers is half times n times n plus one, or that the, the sum of the squares of the first n numbers is one sixth times two n plus one times n plus one times n. The great thing about this is that we can see that this will produce some kind of sequence of numbers, but at each stage, the nth term in that sequence is going to be given by a polynomial. Isn't that nice? So here's a question. When are sequences of numbers generated by polynomials? Start with a sequence, A, which begins with a0 and goes on to a1, a2, etc. From that, we can derive a second sequence of differences. So delta a here is another sequence where the first term is a1 minus a0, the second term is a2 minus a1, etc., where delta a n is going to be the nth term of the sequence delta a. Just for notation's sake, this del is called the difference operator, and in fact, you can apply it to a sequence more than once. Example, let's start with a sequence, a, which goes like so, 0, then 1, then 3, then 6, then 10, then 15, etc. We're going to write down this, the second sequence, del of a, and I'm going to stagger this a little bit to be clear which differences we're taking. The first term of del a is going to be 1 minus 0, which is 1. The second term is 3 minus 1, which is 2. Then we'll have 3, 4, 5, etc. We can apply this again, del squared a, which is going to be the differences of del a. So we're going to get 1, 1, 1, 1, etc. And then del cube of a, the differences of del squared of a is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0. Then it wouldn't really make sense to continue. Just to observe one thing before we move on, was it inevitable that at some point the dels of subsequent sequences would end up with the zero sequence? Well, in a way, yes. Let's check out this particular sequence. Here, a n is half times n times n plus 1, which is half n squared plus half n. Del of a n is going to be, as in the nth term of the different sequence, is going to be a n minus 1 minus a n. Doing some algebra, this is what we get, and at this point, terms start to cancel. We get n plus a half plus a half, which is n plus 1. Notice the degrees of the respective polynomials. The degree of the polynomial that describes the sequence a has degree 2, while the degree of the polynomial that describes del of a has degree 1. The degree decreases each time. I'm going to lay out some results that, that paints the narrative we will not be proving this or really going into details, but you can read the details in your text. Result number one, let A be a sequence with a n, the nth term in that sequence, given by a degree d polynomial in n. d in this case should be greater than or equal to one. Then the difference sequence, del a, it will be a sequence given by a polynomial of one less degree. Result number two, this follows from the last result. Since the degree of the polynomial will decrease each time we apply the del operator, the difference operator, if an original sequence is generated by a polynomial of degree d, then if you apply the difference operator enough, you will get the zero sequence. In particular, del to the d plus 1 applied to a will be the zero sequence. Third and last result. When you have a sequence a, a n can be expressed as a polynomial in N if and only if there is a k, a natural number k, such that for all n greater than zero, the difference operator applied k plus one times to the 
to the sequence gives you the zero sequence. In this particular case, we know how to find what that polynomial is. A n is going to be a zero times n choose zero plus del of a zero times n choose one all the way up to del k of a zero times n choose k. Let's do an example. Say we've got a sequence, 0, 2, 7, 15, 26, 40, 57, etc. The difference operator applied to A is going to, be, is going to give the sequence 2, 5, 8, 11, etc. And then 3, 3, 3, etc. The third time you apply the difference operator, we're going to get 0, 0, 0, the 0 sequence. All right, what does this tell us? By the theorem, k is going to be the point before we get the zero sequence. So k is going to be 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. This gives us a formula for a n. a n is going to be 0 times n choose 0 plus the first term in del a, 2 n choose 1, plus the first term in del, del squared a, which is 3 and choose 2, after which we get zeros. So this is going to be 0 times 1 plus 2 times n plus 3 times n factorial over n minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. This gives us 0 plus 2n plus 3 times n n minus 1 over 2. Doing some more algebra, we'll get n times 3n minus 1 all over 2. That's the end of this week.